This video will give an overview of the iOS version of Osman Maps and Navigation. More detailed videos using the Android version are linked on my webpage. Osman primarily uses crowdsourced data from the OpenStreetMap project. It can show this data in multiple ways. It can preview the route. It can do turn-by-turn -turn navigation on roads and on trails. It can record and follow GPX tracks. And it can give you information about the things around you, all without a cellular connection, because the maps and related data all reside on your phone. They're found here. For this demonstration, I've downloaded all layers related to California, the map, contour lines, Wikipedia, hill shading, and slope. And I've enabled these plugins. Okay, on this map, I'm here. To create a simple hiking route, I just press on a destination. Notice there are four navigation modes. I've selected walking. And there are many other options that can tweak how Osman navigates. From here, I'm going to specify a subsequent destination. Which turns the original destination into an intermediate one. Once I'm satisfied with my route, I can learn a lot about it. Here, for example, is the distance, as well as a rough estimate, sometimes very rough, of the time needed to walk, bicycle, or drive it. There are directions. There's an altitude profile in blue and a steepness profile in green. Pressing details, I can see the total ascent and descent, as well as the average altitude and altitude range. Using data from OpenStreetMap, there's information about the road type, its surface, and there's an analysis of the steepness. The Analyze button shows the relationship of the altitude profile to the route. Pressing here changes the view from 2D to 3D. You can also create and preview routes remotely. Here's what Osman looks like on the road. As I've configured the screen here, we're seeing the trip distance and the distance to the first intermediate destination, both on the right. The distance to the next turn and the turn after that are on the left. Turn left onto Nicasio Valley Road. Osman can also do turn-by-turn -turn navigation on hiking trails. You can save any route as a GPX. You can find them here.
You can record GPXs by pressing the Trip Recording button. Pressing it again allows you to stop recording and save it. You can view the statistics of any track, change its color, display it on the map, and use it for navigation. Another way to create a GPX is with the plan or route feature. You can customize the look of the map from here. Or from here. The settings profiles represent different groups of settings. The most fundamental setting is the map type, which determines the overall style of the map. There are multiple styles for contour lines as well. The hill shading and slope layers are found here. The screen panels are controlled here. You can display various points of interest here. For traveling, there's a Wikipedia layer. which gives you information about the things around you. Osmond also has a couple of ways to mark personal points of interest. There are favorites, which can be customized for label, color, and grouping. They're found here. And there are map markers, which are less customizable, but faster to create. 